you get into this? It's quite a, you know, a specific skill to have. Well, back in the late kind of 90s or so, I was living in London. Mm -hmm. And I got really into stand-up comedy and watching and going to various clubs uh, kind of in East and North London. And uh, then uh, a friend of mine who I worked with started running a comedy night called The Comedian's Graveyard <laughs> in, yeah, in, uh, in North London. I love it. I love it already. And um, I used to go along just as, a, as, a, as an audience member to begin with, and then I used to help out a little bit. Their, their show was interesting because they didn't run it as a kind of normal comedy night. They had um, sketches and songs and all sorts of slightly different things going on as well as the st regular stand-up. Sort of old-time so variety were, in a way. Yeah, kind of. Mm, yeah, nice and one. So they, so they always needed people to play little extra parts and stuff in little sketches and things. Sure. So I, so I eventually got kind of roped into taking part in a, a little sketch. What, what we, we had a, there was a running gag where we had the uh, comedy forensic squad, <laughs> and um, and what would happen is when a when one of the comedians uh, did a joke that fell flat. We had a little siren that went off and an announcement that there had been a crime against comedy. <laughs> and we'd, we'd run on and dust down the area for prints. And, <laughs> so that was my first ever oh, on stage I love appearance it. was as one of these people wearing, like, you know, the um, CSI kind of paper suits. Sure. I thought you might have just been a spear holder, you know, like in Shakespeare or something, you know, a comedic, a comedic <laughs> yeah, it one. Quite, <laughs> it was kind of the comedic equivalent of that, though. I was kind of just an extra. Um, so Fantastic. that was my first ever experience on stage. 